Hello everyone, welcome on my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you how to perform delete operation in Blazor. So this is the simple thing you can do in, in your uh, using your Visual Studio. So first of all, prepare your delete repository by using their ID property. So uh, in the interface, we have ch some changes uh, like in the delete uh, parameter, uh, just pass it the ID parameter in the delete method and also uh, some changes in the delete uh, repository that is in teaser ID and first of all get uh, by ID by their uh, uh, first of all call the f uh, get by ID method with the ID parameter and get a single employee so that we can uh, delete employee easily so get uh, by ID uh, method there is already uh, exist in the repository now after that uh, uh, do some changes in the uh, uh, blazor edit uh, reserve page uh, uh, you can see in the last video tutorials of uh, your uh, employee uh, when uh, uh, when we save data in our database table that is the video tutorial you have to see in last video tutorials so uh, if you are using uh, if you are if you want to delete a single record from your database table then perform uh, delete operations and delete operations will perform uh, on basis of the id property or uniqueness of the data so by their uh, the single parameter you have to use their id property so uh, just before or uh, you can say just copy that and paste it here and change the method name that is the delete employee okay so this is the simple thing you can do and uh, this is the simple uh, click operations you can perform on it so just use it delete employee method and in the delete employee call your repository and also changes uh, these uh, boolean properties also some string uh, messages so uh, also check if employee id is greater than zero th then that means uh, a single employee you can delete Sim employee ID is greater than zero it's not zero actually it's greater than zero then perform delete operation okay so in the delete employee you call delete repo dot that delete repo interface is uh, already injected in your uh, employee added base class and call employee.id as a parameter and call delete operation and after that you can just copy and paste that messages and change the message like a delete employee okay that's cool and save this and run your project okay it's taking few seconds to run your project okay that's cool and uh, that is employee edit this is the default text boxes where you can insert a new employee if you pass a single parameter then you have you got a two messages that is uh, edit and delete so delete employee easily when you call again one there is a null value exceptions because there is no employee uh, uh, on the id one if you again employee edit call employee edit to call then you got that second number of employee so how to resolve that types of problem um, like uh, um, 
employee uh, if you uh, again pass a single uh, one in the parameter so how to resolve that type of query so uh, just uh, in the uh, just after that you check your employee is double equals to null then pass uh, the employee equals to new employee as a string okay and just uh, insert a new employee okay so you just check it so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, asp.net called blazer and this is the simple uh, tutorial i will provide you and better video tutorial in later session so please subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget uh, also press the bell icons thank you very much for watching this video